It might seem like a small issue to get upset about, like who should open the door first or open a new jar of jam. But judging by the heartache it causes, it really matters a lot. It leads to affairs, fierce arguments, and bitterness. The future of small children can be affected by it, and couples often end up in therapy or, more commonly, in divorce court because of it. The drama often centers around a moment late at night. In the darkness, one person's hand moves to touch the other, signaling a desire for either sex or a cuddle. When nothing happens in return, it becomes a much bigger deal than one might expect, because it's not just about making love. It's about feeling wanted. The willingness to start intimacy can feel like a test of whether one is valued in the relationship. For one person never to initiate or to respond half-heartedly can feel like they don't love their partner. In reality, a lack of initiation or response can mean many things. It could simply be a sign of exhaustion after a long day. Sometimes an untouched hand is just that, an untouched hand. The real problem in the darkness of the bedroom is not just the lack of response, it's how that lack of response is interpreted. Assumptions are made without discussion, and serious offenses are taken without talking about it. A bigger problem is when an unreciprocated touch combines with self-doubt or self-hatred. What might be just an innocent or temporary lack of enthusiasm gets taken as proof that the other person finds us disgusting. Ideally, if we loved ourselves enough, we would handle this situation better. We would discuss it calmly and kindly with our partner and try to understand what's going on. If it turned out to be an enduring lack of interest or emotional capacity, we would leave. There's nothing wrong with being with an emotionally or physically withholding partner, the problem is staying once we know this is the case. But these options aren't open to us when we feel too ashamed. Unresponsive partners reinforce feelings of unacceptability, making us bitter and fragile. Not knowing how to value ourselves makes it hard to complain about bad treatment or leave to find someone better. As self-hating lovers, we can't calmly and patiently say we feel rejected, need to be understood, and want change. Instead, we might say nothing and have an affair, or explode in rage, ensuring our message isn't heard. In the tensions around unreciprocated touch in the bedroom, we see a more general problem in love. The difficulties that arise when we can't ask for what we want in a relationship, when we feel we don't deserve happiness, and when we can't handle frustration or respond to our misery properly. We shouldn't leave the untouched hand in the darkness for too long. We should dare to turn on the light, express our pain, and consider our options without shame.